The Planar tool, which is new in 3D Coat version 3.1, allows you to, like a wood plane, scrape away volume from a surface. Let's go ahead and activate that tool. It's under Voxels, Planar. And I'll, I'll show how the tool works here first before I go ahead and scrape away on a surface. Basically, to reorientate this 2D plane, as you can see in the viewport, I'm moving it around now, is to right click on the surface and you can see it's going deeper and now shallower from the camera. If I hold down the right mouse button and you'll see that it's adjusting on the fly. Now let's demonstrate what exactly this tool does. According to the depth it will chop off from the 2D plane toward the camera. Now if we have a higher depth it will chop off more. So let's go ahead and just have it at 100 here and I'll demonstrate that. You can see it's cut off a flat surface there according to the orientation for where I right clicked it dependent on the camera. Now let's go ahead and rotate the view and you'll see that it's still orientated in that same position. If we right click over here and do the same thing and then we readjust we can still chop off that section. And one last thing to demonstrate here with uh, the way this tool operates. Let's select another larger area again. And this time turn the depth down. Alright, right around 50% should work. And you'll see that it's not actually cutting off all of that surface. It actually left some of it. So that depends on the depth that you have selected. Now let's go ahead and cover some of the parameters of this tool. All right, the right mouse button action. The default is pick point and forward direction. It will reorientate the plane based on the voxel that you click on and the camera. So it will always be parallel to the camera. Next up is pick point only. Let's realign it manually across the X axis. You can see here it's right along X. Now if we right click on the surface, it will reorientate its position just perfectly along the x-axis. You can do that along y or z as well. Next up, pick point and direction. What this one does is it will select an area of voxels and determine its normal and then reorientate the plane according to that averaged normal. You can see it performing that right here along these corners. It's slowly rotating. Next one is very similar except it picks along the local normal of a voxel. You can see here it's going perfectly along the surface, it's not averaging those normals. The last right mouse button action here is navigate. This you should be familiar with if you've been using 3D code for a little while. Let me talk about it here. If you right click with the mouse button and hold it will just readjust the size and intensity of your brush and navigate in the viewport if you click outside the object. You can also manually key in values for the position and the normal of the plane. 